So everybody asks, what's the best land for drones or where do drones come in clutch at? Where are they you know, best utilized at? And if I've ever seen a field that portrays this better, it's this right here. This is Jeff Rutledge's field in Newport, Arkansas. This is some of the most uh, highest producing fertile land I believe he has. Uh, he's got rice in it now, but just take a look around. I mean, we are literally flanked with every possible issue you could have in the field encounter spraying. I mean, I, pulling on the right, we've got telephone poles. I'm sorry, those are, those are telephone poles. And then it's got power poles transecting those there on the left hand side and then you scan out on the other side of that those row of trees is the white river and then on the left hand side here we've got uh, double pole power poles coming through on top of more telephone poles on the left hand side so being so close to the white river and with the minerals and nutrients all that other stuff there's so much that this this land is going to produce but try getting a, a plane in here to spray this try getting since it's sunken ground it stays wet getting ground equipment in here to spray so i mean this right here so when jeff saw the drones he was like that's that's what's going to spray this area and he has so much fertile land just like this so it's perfect for someone like that but on top of that, with the acres we're able to cover now, we're doing lower rates at two gallons per acre, we're a sizable option for many, many other applications. But if you just want to see land that it's like, uh, and to my knowledge, this land had never been sprayed by anything other than ground and was just a lot of issues in the past. So now the first time this is sprayed from air was this season with, uh, with this drone. So anyway, guys, food for thought.